Yes, I have a gaming addiction. What of it? So, Red Dead had a major update. Red Dead 2, I should say. And I was told it was apparently supposed to help optimize the game for like xbox series x which i have and apparently there again some more rumors of red dead one getting a remaster so be interesting to see how that happens so let's go it's an awesome game anyway so I figured we check out, see what's going on. It might just be Red Dead Online that got updated, but let's uh, see what's going on. Maybe try to play through by, by being a good boy this time. Oh, we got a nice wind coming through right now. Looks like we're, it's going to try to storm. Abigail says he's dying, Dutch. We'll have to stop someplace. Okay. Arthur's out looking. I sent him up ahead. Uh, if we don't stop soon, we'll all be dying. It's weather, it's May. I'm just hoping the law got as lost as we did. There. Arthur, any luck? I found a place where we can get some shelter. Let Davy rest while he, you know, an old man in town. Band, it ain't far. Come on. Come on! Yeah!
Bring him in here. Miss Gaskell, get that fire lit quick. Miss Jones, bring in whatever blankets we have. Mr. Pearson, see what we've got in terms of food. Davy's dead. There was nothing more you could have done. What are we gonna do? We need supplies. Well, first of all, you're gonna stay here and you were gonna get yourself warm. And I sent John and Mike scouting out ahead. Arthur and I, we're gonna ride out. See if we can find one of them. Your brother's wedding is tomorrow. Nice. I don't see what other choice we have. Well, congratulations to your brother. Listen. Epic, yeah. Listen to me, all of you, for a moment. Now, we've had well, a bad couple of days. I loved Davy, Jenny, Sean, Mac. They may be okay. We don't know, but we lost some folks. Now, if I could throw myself in the ground in their stead, I'd do it gladly. But we are gonna ride out and we are gonna find some food. Everybody, we're safe now. There ain't nobody following us through a storm like this one. And by the time they get here, well, we're gonna be, we're gonna be long gone. We've been through worse than this before. Mr. Pierce, Ms. Grimshaw, I need you to turn this place into a camp. We may be here for a few days. Now, all of you, all of you, get yourselves warm. Stay strong. Stay with me. We ain't done yet. Come on, Arthur. All right. We've got some work to do. We ain't run into them yet. So they both must have headed down the hill. Sure. Hey, I ain't had time to ask. What really went down back there on that boat? We miss you. That's what happened. Come on. Oh. Hey, you need horses? Oh, yeah. And hey, Mr. Smith, get yourself indoors. You need to rest that hand. I'll live. Get indoors, son. Bye. All right. We need you strong. Okay. Come on. Let's go. Ain't sure what we're gonna find out here. Oh, nice. We have to try. Stay close and we'll do our best to stick to the trail. This goddamn weather. In two days or more like this now, it has to blow over soon. Best man means you get to be, make fun of your brother right in front of his woman and everybody will accept it. <laughs> Careful over this bridge here. Oh, nice. Davey too. Uh, but what are siblings for, right? No We're allowed to make fun of each other, but somebody else messing with us, you done for. A couple more days, we'll be on the other side. You need to help me pick the others back up. You're the only one I can rely on to stay strong right now. We got fire and shelter. That's a start. Mm. So, 
Do you think it was a trap in Blackwater? That many men? Oh, they knew we were coming. But there was money on that boat, all right. Lots of it. I stashed what we took with all our money in town right before we fled. You up ahead. Who's there? I'm the oldest out of mine. Micah. Gentlemen, found anything? I think so. Found a little homestead down that way. Okay. Anyone home? Sure. Place is blazing with light and noise. Sounded like a party. Let's go see. Follow me. <clears throat> How's Davy doing? Well, you didn't make it. Nor did little Jenny. That's too bad. Davy was a real fighter. Both of them calendar boys is, or <laughs> was. Yeah. And Mac, Sean, we don't know. Quite a business. All right, brother. You take care, man. I'm glad you're all right, Micah. Always. Ask him if he's seen John. Oh, that's the beginning of the game. You ain't gonna miss much. Yeah. Oh, Mac and Sean are still out there somewhere too. Hey, Arthur, let me take the rear. You move up. Passing you. Go on. You sure about this, Micah? Mr. Morgan, I never thought I would be so pleased. to see your face out here where's everyone else old mining camp back up the hill huddled around a fire waiting for daddy to put food on the table said it before we got too many mouths to feed well we got a few less now so you should be happy that ain't fair arthur i earn my share you think it's unreasonable to expect others to do the same so this house you speak to the people there already no my dutch told us look but don't talk to no one just following orders you know me i'm a good boy right how much further not far what does that mean not far uh, thanks Oh, God damn this snow. It's right to the bone. Okay. Let's keep it down now, gentlemen. It's just up ahead. Snuff and stash those lanterns, boys. Best you two lie low on this. Okay. Let's head down there. <laughs> You gotta admit, this game is really beautifully done. Let's hitch up here.
Let me handle this. We don't want to spook these fine people. Someone's having fun in there. You two, get yourself out of sight. One lonely man is a lot less intimidating than three nasty-looking degenerates. Arthur, in that cattle shed on the left. Micah, get down behind that wagon in front. Excuse me. Hello. Oh, well, hello, friend. What you want? I am very sorry to disturb you. Uh, my friends and I, well, we got into some trouble up the way, lost in the storm. Ah, uh, gentlemen. We can't help you, mister. I got folks. Arthur. Dying. On the Arthur, we got a problem. <laughs> there's a corpse right here. No, I, I just Arthur, need some there's a body food in the wagon. I hear you. Just Gentlemen. keep your eyes on Dutch. Please. I think you should go now, but over there! Oh! to the house. Arthur, let's go search the cabin. Smells like a party in here. Turn the place upside down. Grab as many supplies as you can. We need the essentials. Food, medicine, whiskey. Oh, I'm starving. You should eat something now. Get your strengths up for the ride back. Oh, Driscoll's. I don't believe it. It's a strange one, all right. Maybe they're hiding up here, too. Big old pool of blood on the floor here. I saw. Probably the poor bastard who lived here. Micah found a dead body in the wagon outside. There's a big price on Colm O'Driscoll's head. Nearly as big as the one on yours. Wanting Colm dead is about the only thing me and Uncle Sam agree on. Huh. Looks like the poor bastard was married, too. At some point. If we can't eat it or drink it, put it down. Place is dry and warm. We could maybe move the women and Jack down here. Maybe. We'll see how they are when we get back. I don't really want us to split up. I'm going to start packing the horses. You keep looking. Meet me out here when you're done.
Micah, Arthur, keep looking for stuff. Arthur, go see if there's anything in that barn. Micah, you search the cabin, see what we missed. Sure. Should I kill him? No. Not yet. Find out what they're doing here and where Calm is. Oh, this son of a bitch will talk. Where's Calm, O'Driscoll? With the others. At an old mining camp southwest of here. Near the lake. Hi. Glad you're back. What are you bastards doing? Why are you up here? Well, we're fixing to rob some train. Gonna blow the tracks. No, I don't know more than that, I swear. <laughs> well, I would say it looks like you have this, Arthur. Do what you want with him. I don't care. But bring that horse when you're done. Oh. I don't know anything else. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. Go. That's a good looking horse. Would you just hitch the damn horse, Arthur? What's your name, miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I... He... 
He was my husband. Somebody's coming. Looks like it's Dutch. Hey, everybody, Dutch is back. How'd you get on? Uh, Mike had found a homestead, but he weren't the first. Cole O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. Uh, uh, we found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently, scouting the train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food. And this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something. And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? Well, how come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. I already have another safe game on here. He ain't been seen in days. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. This is not what this yeah. woman want. I need you to... I I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know. The situation were reversed. He looked for me. Thank you. <sighs> This way. Last I know, John was headed up the river. For all we know, he kept riding north and never looked back. He wouldn't leave. Not like that. Well, it wouldn't be the first time. Come on, let's take a look. Let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. Well, it seems somebody left recently. And that way. Sure, well, come on now. There's some tracks leading to the river. Ah, whoa. Cross. See, they continue up that way. You think it's John? You tell me. These are horse tracks for sure, but it could be anyone. Let's just see where they lead. So, you were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? 
We had the money, it seemed fine. Then suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkerton. Yeah. It was Only one I haven't played is uh, Red Dead Revolver, if I remember correctly. Watch out for this crevice. But then again, I kind of hope the uh, rumors are true about the first Red Dead getting a remaster. But it was a bad situation. I ain't like him, though. We continue along the cliff wall here. Davey got shot. Mac and John both shot, too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up, it's all right. Allegedly, there's one being made, but rumor. That rumor. Snow's coming in hot again. We'll lose these tracks if we don't move fast. Yeah. Two is supposed to get an update that uh, makes it more optimized for like PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. So, maybe. Yeah, a lot of fresh snow here. I don't know about this, Javier. I mean, we can't follow nothing. Uh, let's push on a little bit. Maybe we'll pick up the trail again. Oh, nice. Almost there. Come on. I pretty much stuck with just Xbox and occasional PC, but I don't have a very high-end computer. For some, the requirements that a lot of newer games need. Whoa. John was riding that horse when we left Blackboard. Let's see if he can hear us. Come on, up there. From up ahead somewhere. I don't think we can go much further on the horses. We'll have to walk from here. I grab that shotgun from your horse. Who knows what's up ahead? Oh goddamn! I'm sorry to hear that, man. Watch out here. You sure about this? It's coming this way. Okay. Mierda, that we're high up here. You're telling me. Help me. Oh, damn. Careful. Sorry to hear that. How it happened? Careful here. Watch your head here. Okay, good now. Watch your step, real slippery. Stay close to the wall. Up here, come on. Come on. How did the house fire happen, if you don't mind me asking? That sounds closer now, come on. 
We're coming, John. Damn, it's cold. Let's keep moving then. Come on. John! John, you there? John, where are you? Marsh? I'm here. Out on the ledge. That's John. We're coming. Over here. Second time house burned down for some reason. A master of wireless. Oh, shit. That fucking sucks, bro. That's quite a stretch you got there. Never thought I'd say this, but good to see you, Arthur Morgan. You don't look so good. I don't feel too good, neither. I'm freezing. Don't die just yet, cowboy. Come on, compadre. Well, we can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry sight. Can't argue with you there. See, I told Dutch you weren't the right man for this. I'm sure you did. Oh, you all right? I think so. Come on. Hopefully this will lead us out. You see that on the ridge? for the horses. I'll keep John's friends off until you're clear. All right, John, come on. Mm, nice. On that horse. Texas ain't so bad. They are beautiful animals. Up there, four of them. They're gone now. Just about. You're gonna be okay. We have some shelter now. Thanks for coming for me. Of course. That bullet in Blackwater, now this. You had a hell of a time. And Arthur always says, I'm lucky. None of us are lucky right now. 
she'll ride in the water for a bit, try to lose a scent. Don't want to leave a trail right back to camp. You know, we're going to need to come up with a better story for that scar. So, freezing, bleeding, starving, damn near getting eaten to death ain't good enough for you. Here, let's cross to the left. Yeah, come on. Let's push hard and get back. See those buildings up ahead, John? That's where we camped. Nearly there. John! Someone help John down off this horse. Can we get some help here? Can we get some help? We need some help here. Come on, help him down. You're alive. You're alive. Here we go. There we go. Oh. Ay, oh. careful, idiotas. It's his leg. Oh, come on, let's get you warm. Thank you. Thank you both. This is a new low, <laughs> even by your standards. Abigail was such a loving woman. Any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. Have you and Dutch talked about how we're going to get out of this? I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks. I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that, that civilization? I know. The west is where our problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss. Let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> we have been running for weeks. We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait the thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. So what now, Dutch? We get strong, we get warm, we wait. When the storm breaks, we move, but we're safe here. Warm enough, I guess. You sound doubtful. Not doubtful, just worried. We have been shot at before, Jose. I don't feel that this is honestly anything new. I hope not. We had a bit of bad luck, but then the storm covered our tracks. So now we wait a bit and we go back to Blackwater and we get our money or we get some more money and we keep heading west. But we're heading east. For now. For now. We got this. We're safe. Stay strong, Jose. Last night my dog had puppies, so we have nine more. Wow! Always fun when the animal starts giving birth. We actually just picked up a little kitten off the side of the road. Someone abandoned the poor thing.
Okay there, Dutch? Thank you. Thank you for bringing John back. Finally, some relief. He's beat up, but yeah. he'll be all right. I don't know. Some people are just assholes, I guess. And I mean, she's real little. Oh, yeah. Uh, bring her out. Uh, I'm not sure where she's hiding right now. Whoa. How are you holding up? As well as can be expected. Sorry, just started some thunder in my area. So that might get interesting. Good morning. Another cold morning. How are you doing? I'm okay. Better than most. Good. Okay, Arthur. Help with you, boys, because I thought you liked action. A couple of days on the lam, you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you, of course. Shut up, Michael. I had a polydactyl so before I moved in, into a new house show up. And yes, for some reason, she warmed right up to me. I don't want no fucks. Like, literally, I went to set out to see her because I heard she had extra toes. And she just crawled right in my lap. Sure. I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Now! You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard. You want to sit around waiting for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. Are you sure about this, Dutch? Yes. We've both been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como Driscoll. I'm having an airsoft game on Sunday. I know you hate him. Nice. He's here for us. I doubt that. Nope, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You, you always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. And this is about more than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about trains and detonators here. Cole, I've got a show no, do, on, on Saturday and Sunday. You think now is the right time to hit a train? Now you. My company my just got monetized, so I'm finally getting some money I'm off of this gig. Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson. Would you please look after the place? There are O'Driscolls about. Yeah. Southwest, right, Arthur? Yeah. He said, follow the main trail southwest. They're camped near some lake. Okay. Let's go find these bastards before they find us and rob this score of their planet. If I suddenly go off air, no, I'm not trying to abandon anybody. Apparently, we got a lightning storm in my area right now. People have been kind of idiots on the road, so might lose power. Got a couple friends of mine in law enforcement who are currently in the hospital because somebody plowed into them. They got fucked up pretty good, but... You've They're expecting to make a full recovery. Listen, I know you don't think They're bouncing back a lot quicker than they were expecting. The right okay. You know I got your back. I learned a long time ago that you would hit Como Driscoll. Wait for him, and people you love will die. This feud between you and him needs to be put to rest one way or another. It will be. Some things I can forgive, others I can forget. What he did to Annabelle, I can't do now. Oh. You killed his brother, Dutch. Yes, I did. And I hope the bastards will be reunited soon enough. That's how this will end. Damn right, boss. See that smoke? 
Let's cut up here and take a look. They said it was near the lake, so we must be close. Hold up here. Oh. All right, gentlemen. This is it. Are we goddamn ready? Ready, ready. Dutch. Good. Now, Mr. Morgan and I, we're going to head up here a little, see if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp. Mr. Williamson, Mr. Bell, you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp. Mr. Summers, Mr. Escuela, you two hold position here. Let's go. Oh, nice. I bet uh, he's seen it in a lot of concerning shit right about now. There they are. That's definitely them. Home? I think so. Yeah, that's him. Who's he talking to? He don't seem very happy. No. They leaving? Seem to be. Should we go get them? No. Cone can wait. Best to get some of them out of there. And much less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it. Come on, let's get down there. Whoa. We got some serious lightning Don't flashing outside. Rifle from your horse. You boys be ready to pick them off from up there. <laughs> sure thing. Good. Come on, let's go. We'll circle around the far side and go down that way, same as Mike and Bill. Like you said, revenge is a luxury we can't afford. Yeah, just wasn't sure you agreed with me. Arthur, Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? Our needs right now are supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including coal, can wait. Okay. There's enough of those bastards down there to deal with as it is. Now, come on. Might have to bust out some candles here soon. Oh, oh, that's that storm's close.
Yeah. Maybe I should take the lead on this. They're going to be gunning for you. They ain't got me yet. No, but the way our luck's been running, hush. Let's just get down there first. Down through these trees, quick. And my dad would say if he joined the military, you would call him the Widowmaker. <laughs> yeah. Come on, follow me. Okay, let's get in cover. So. What are we doing, Dutch? I can take this if you want. Just make the call. You want to take the lead? Go. Okay, fine. You make the move. All right, on me. Good luck. So why did they let you go? Why wouldn't have gone? Kill every last one of these Keep pushing forward. doesn't even know half the names of these fools. Heads up, boys! We got more coming in from the forest! Keep your guy in, motherfuckers! Let's get into that forest. 
forest and clear them out. Yeah, yeah, motherfuckers. Hippie Kinsaye. I don't know. I'm for sure. I think it's, a y it's supposed to be yippie. Shut up, Dutch. Good work, boys. Now, let's tear this place apart. Bill, you go search that wagon there. Mike, search that building. Arthur, you take that building to the left. All right, man, quick. That one kind of looks I like John. Detonators, explosives, anything you can. Let's go. Is my profile pick you? Yeah. Sell all this stuff. Oh. Oh shit, we got some rain coming in. I don't need my this my computers and shit all fried. Well, looks fine. Smells good. Come on. Did we get everything? Think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh, yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was going to rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's keep moving. Do you play Call of Duty? Yeah, every now and then, but... I don't have any installed on my Xbox. Good work, fellas. Not bad for some starving down and outs. They can pummel us hard as they like, but we will always get back up and fight. That's who we are. Outlaws for life, fellas. Wait until we have John, Matt. Charles and Sean back riding with us, and I believe, I know, they will all be back. Well, you didn't get combed, but this head will hurt him a lot more than any bullet in the head. Especially when we rob okay, this train, okay. too. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see about that. Oh, indeed we will. You know, he'll come after us. Oh, of course he will. Just like all the rest. Whoa. But we're going to stay a step ahead of them. Make sure we always know where they are. I got literally have a lightning storm right on top of me right now. To get a step behind in Blackwater. That won't happen again. Yeah. All right. Dig in, fellas. Let's make some ground. See that fella? Wasn't me at the camp with Colm? Leave him to me. All right, we're heading back. Just bring him back alive. He could be useful. Okay, you got it. Yeah. <laughs> now, come on. Oh, yeah. 
You got the wrong feller! You're coming with me. I'm no use to you, really. Come on, I, I, I'm nobody, mister. What's your name, boy? I don't know. You don't know your name? It's Kieran. Kieran what? Duffy, Kieran Duffy. Well... I ain't gonna lie to you. This is a real bad day for you, Kieran Duffy. Where are you taking me? Somewhere you ain't gonna like. Why? What are you gonna do to me? Some fan you ain't gonna like. So I'd advise you to save your breath for screaming. No, please! Come on, mister, P please. You better shut your mouth, you little shitter. I will shut it for you. All right, boy. <laughs> oh, I think I'm gonna puke. Oh, God, please, no. I've only been running with them a couple of months. Are you trying to test me, is that it? Because I will break every bone in your body. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay? Not one more goddamn word. Am I clear? Okay. Okay. That's two bones right there. <laughs> Whoa! Shit. Let's introduce you to the boys. Good boy. Doing okay, Miss Octavia? Please. No, oh, don't worry. They're real nice. Huh. You got a little shit, did you? Yeah. <laughs> I got him. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. You want me to make him talk? Oh, no. Now all we'll get is lies. Uncle, Mr. Williamson, tie this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. Who shoot fellas as need shooting, save fellas as need saving, and feed them as need feeding. We are going to find out what you need. I can't believe it. An O'Driscoll in my camp. I ain't an O'Driscoll, mister. I, I hate that fella. Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on Cole. Oh, there's time enough for that. Now, I got to figure out if we can hit that train. Okay. Hi, Bill. Hi. Uh, an another cold day ahead. How are you feeling? Uh, so so. <coughs> We're going to starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what, 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pierce. We were stranded at sea for 
50 days. And you unfortunately survived. <coughs> when we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. <clears throat> but when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. If needs be, Do I know where the kitten is at? Oh, uh, she's somewhere. They found nothing. Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough, enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Here. You're going to need something to eat out there. Assorted salted off. Starving will be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. <coughs> here, you take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. Yeah. All right, I got some brain kicking up my reaction video, so uh, I can take a quick inventory of the house. Yeah, make sure everybody's doing okay. We recently moved into this house, and uh, cats being cats, they ain't adjusting well, especially where we picked up two strays.
Man, I had to make sure the baby's doing okay with this storm. All right, all right. Are you stuck? <laughs> Little monster. Oh, yeah, see? We've only had her for like a couple of days. Or actually going on a week now. Somebody dumped that. We checked. We couldn't find any traces of a litter. So, I don't know. But yeah. Somebody dumped that little thing. No signs of brothers and sisters nearby, so hopefully they they okay if that's the case. She's probably going back into her hiding spot. Pile of little blankets. Oh shit. That and take an opportunity to close a couple of windows. Got some rain and don't need any electronics getting fried, you know? Let's head out. I got stolen and dumped here at my house. Wow. Yeah, the house I was living at, it wasn't too weird for Stray's cats to turn up because uh, we were out in the middle of the country. We usually made sure to give them a little something to eat so that way they help keep the mice away. Yeah, it was the latest two we found, they just uh, stuck a little closer than we anticipated. We're going to find something to kill that ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way, find some higher ground. Whew. Been a wild few days, all right. That ride north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, going out for John, that thing with the old Driscolls. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that. Just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. Well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. some patches of grass here. This is good. Come on, let's try this way. Keep your eyes peeled for movement. For a girl trying to hook up with me on snap off too. of a bitmoji. No wow. Bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. No, shh. Hey, I wouldn't complain. I've looked like this since I was in high school, so most of the girls I was interested in thought I was the same age as their fucking dad. I'm only 26!
so they're trying to hook up on me. <laughs> They've admitted they got issues. <laughs> How can you tell? Crack them on foot. Keep down. Move quietly and slowly. You see the tracks? I don't think so. Maybe not. Focus. It's easier in the snow, but once you get your eye in, you'll be able to track nearly as well in grass and woods. Words on 2.0 is on its way. I've heard friend of mine's been bugging me to get it downloaded so we can play together. Yeah, I know it's Call of Duty. Down there. You see him? Are you ready with that bow? Aim for their head or neck. We want a good, clean kill. You can pull back quite hard. You'll feel when it's too much. Now, Arthur. <laughs> Good shot. Now it's time for another. Got him. Well done. I don't think that's all we can carry. Okay, you pick up one, I'll get the other. You sure your hands are okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. Okay, I'll go grab the other one. Back when you are. Sure. I just need to finish up here. Yep. Come on, then. Let's head back. Yeah. Nice work, Arthur. Should be enough meat here to keep us all fed for a few days. You found him. I knew you'd be okay with that bow. It's easier when they ain't shooting back. <laughs> We've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck is finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. People are still weak, and we 
you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, you're probably right. And and even if we do get off here, what then? We'll still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. You notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? Oh, watch it. We give the cab cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. We've only been up here a few days and have already picked up two more mouths to feed. One more. We ain't feeding the old Triscoll a damn thing. Except maybe that can of salt and awful Pearson was kind enough to give us. The girl, she has a wild look in her eye. <sighs> of course. She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. So what do we do with her? Well, once we get out of here and we're back on our feet, we'll see. She might have family somewhere. Who knows? Maybe she'll deal with the O'Driscoll for us. <laughs> well, I know who my money's on in that fight. He's weak, but that makes him much more useful. Maybe we can get to them before they get to us. What is it with the O'Driscolls? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Yeah, I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, we've been scrapping over scores with them for years. Big gang. Nasty sons of bitches. Wow. Bear up ahead. Let's see if we can find another way around. Well, he's got a lot of meat on him. We've got enough here. No need to push our luck. You must be real hungry. Stay well back. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. Whoa! Cut up here, off the trail. We ain't ever talked that much, you and me. How long you been with us now? Five, six months? Something like that. But you didn't expect this? What? Any of this. Blackwater mess. Being up here? Ah. Sooner or later, a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. I just I know you could run it alone. No problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. I was wondering if someone's going to kill you in your sleep. I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. This suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh, yes. Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. A fellow with a black father and an Indian mother. That ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh, 20 years, something like that. Since I was a boy. 20 years? Yeah. <laughs> taught me to read. John, too. Taught me a few other things. Him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. Dutch safe. Yeah. Here, we're going to put you on the screen, my brother. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. Try to get some more ghost hunting comment, but you have a good one, man. How's that new horse? Comment content. He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take time the other night. 
She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. Huh. I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. Fuck me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. I'm gonna hitch time over here. Brought some food back, boys! Oh, boy. Come on, let's get these on Pearson. Oh, yeah. Thank you for showing me how to use the bow properly. I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. Well, well, well! <clears throat> Just us. find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid. Why, he loves me, really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now, shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. I'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. I'll get to skin you. <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skinned that one that you dumped on the floor there. Huh. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town if you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck. Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. <coughs> yeah. Well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <sighs> <coughs> It's been a bad few weeks, but Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans, and Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respects, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. You want me to come? Of course I do, but look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Dutch. Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He's seen me now. What's left of me? What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway man. Bill, now you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we going this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah, come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. 
but we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just, I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? You know, he's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. <laughs> Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. All right, we're moving out. Follow me! Okay, gentlemen, listen up, all of you. According to the information so kindly provided to us by the Oswiskels, the train will be coming north from Big Valley. We're going to pick it off after it crosses the border into the Grizzlies. There's a raised spot there that should give us good vantage. Charles, you'll keep lookout for any outriders. How's that hand, by the way? I'll be fine. Good. I'll take the driver and engineer that run point. Lenny and Javier, you two take the front cars, deal with any guards. Arthur and Micah, you head straight for the back. That's what we're after, Mr. Cornwall's private car. You and me, Morgan. Hey, have you got a problem with that? Not if you keep your head for once. You worry about yourself, huh? Enough! After Bill blows the tracks, we'll need to move fast. Is everyone clear on what they're doing? Yep, Crystal. Yes, boss. Good. Now come on. Let's ride! done fast. Now it's thawing before anyone gets up here after us. Oh, look at you boys. See? This is what I call a crew. Micah Bell, Charles Smith, Arthur Morgan, Javier Escuela, and what about young Lenny here? Always the first man on his horse. Just happy we're back at him, Dutch. You sure you're ready for this, kid? Of course I'm ready. Just stay calm. Keep your eyes sharp. That goes for all of you. No mistakes. Not again. So we do this, then we go back to Blackwater to collect. How many times are you gonna ask the same question, Micah? That's a lot of damn money to leave sitting for too long. It would be crazy to go back there now. The place will be swarming with Pinkertons. We go back when I say. We go back, and that's the end of it. The money's safe. You'll just have to trust me. And if the O'Driscolls are right, there'll be a stack of railroad bonds on this train. Good money, once we work out how to cash them. Now everyone, shut up and get your mind on the job at hand. Come on. There's the water tower. Hold up here on the ridge. Whoa. Is Bill there? Yeah. You want to head down, see how he's getting on? Okay. Easy. How you getting on? Yeah. I'm okay. You sure? 
Of course. Can I help a little? All right. Go ahead and set up the detonator by those rocks over there. Okay, sure. Now just unspool the wire and then attach it to said detonator. Okay, this is good. All right, that should do it. You head back up to the others. I've got it from here. He says all fine. We'll soon find out. Everything okay? I think so. Okay, cover your face. Train should be here any minute now. Gentlemen, it's time. Good luck, all of you. You all know what to do. said it was fine. It was my fault. Come on! You're pathetic. You know that? Uh -huh. Here we go! Here we go! Try. 
Let's get the money and go. We got some fellas holed up in this last car. Ah, shit. What are you boys planning on doing in there? Listen to me. We don't want to kill any of you. Any more of you. <laughs> I give you my word, but trust me, we will. I work for Leviticus Corps. Come on, boys. We got our orders. Okay. You asked for it. We ain't Five, opening this door. Four, three, two, one. Seems our friends have gone deaf. Wake them up a little. <laughs> Mr. Williamson, give Mr. Morgan and Mr. Smith some dynamite. You two boys, go blow that door open. Now, it don't matter too much to us, but you boys in there might want to take a step back. Seems good enough. Here we go. Now light the fuse. Unless you got a death wish, I'd step back, fellas. Just walk on out here. <laughs> we don't want to kill you. My, oh we just want to rob your boss. Get on up there. Search that train. <laughs> Look at this place. It's like a palace. Well, now I've seen everything. Oh, you two got the safe? I'll search the rest. Oh, yes. Should be easy as cake. <sighs> You're just going to stand there, kid. Pour me some brandy, will you? I'm parched. Shut up. Me and Arthur did all the work. Yeah, kid did good. Didn't see you rushing to jump on that train. He's keen. I'll give you that. Okay. Let's see if we can get this open. On. On. Getting there. Ah. Ah. There. See? That's how it's done. Shit. Just a pile of papers. Bonds? I don't think so. Here. Make yourself useful. At least we all know you can read. Give me those. I think I got him. Nice. Thank God. Come on. <clears throat> Just waiting on you, Arthur. What did you find? These bonds. They worth anything? Oh, sure. Bearer bonds. I think we can probably sell these pretty easily. Well done. 
Now, would you get rid of all of this? Train? Yeah, uh, get it out of here. What about them? What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's up to you. Kill them, leave them here, take them with you on the train. Just make sure they don't send no folk after us. Okay. See you back at camp. When you get back, we'll be moving on. The rest of you, let's ride. Okay. Get on the train. Quick. All of you. Any bright ideas, I kill all three. So behave. Come on. Move. We won't tell a soul, I swear. Go on. So, we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. <laughs> well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, you're in that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old Dutch. <laughs> Here. Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead. Make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me with the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. You gotta admit, this game is very beautiful in its scenery. Take a look. 
You all right back there? Does everything look all right? Well, what's going on? Ah, I broke the goddamn wheel. All right, let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles, you and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on. Right? You still strong enough to hold up a wagon? Shut up. I'm just saying. Well, say less. Pick the wheel up. <laughs> Nearly there. There. Okay. You ain't so useless after all. <laughs> Not quite. What do you think? If they wanted trouble, we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Come on. Let's not push our luck. What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left inland. So, yes. The Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. This is the heartlands we're going to. Good farming and grazing country, they lost it all. Stolen clean away from them it was, every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. And how's that different from anywhere else? Well, maybe it's not. I just heard some of the army out here was particularly uh, unpleasant about it. Unpleasant? How do you rob and kill people pleasantly? We don't, in spite of that, just talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Never forget, this here's a con man, Charles, born and bred. Just because it sounds fancy don't mean he knows a damn thing about what he's talking about. So, what happened to your tribe? I don't even know if I have one. At least, not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. A number of free men did. But when we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. I was too young to really remember much. My whole life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother, took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. He was a very sad man, and the drink had a mean hold on him. Around 13, I just took off on my own. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little older. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But he learned fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait, I don't understand. What's the problem between you two? Arthur? It's a long story. Yeah, we still heading the right way? That depends. Are we still heading west in search of fortune and repose in virgin forests as we planned? No. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. You know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, outlaws, working girls, our kind of place. Driscoll's? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place we're going. Wait, what's it called again? Horseshoe Overland. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? It's just, you know. Maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but we kept telling him that ferry job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. It just isn't like Dutch to lose his head like that. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. 
That's the way it is. Always has been. Hey, you, Dutch. We've all been in this line of work a long time, and we're still here, so I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it wrong. What are you working on there, anyway? Just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better than that stuff you buy in the store. Yeah, you can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Okay, thank you. Yeah. There you are, brother. Head in there. Follow the track for a bit. Thanks. Hey, slow up. I'll jump on. Okay, let's go. Any trouble getting in here, Javier? Nope. It went well. This is a good spot. Excellent. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. Here we are, gentlemen. Home sweet home. You weren't wrong, Jose. This place, perfect. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Now it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Hosea. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. I ain't got that long, Dutch. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money and a long way from a dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother, but we are safe. We make a bit of money here, then we move again, head out around them, be west of Uncle Sam, in a few months, buy some land. I hope so. Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer Robin Banks to usury. Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough. But we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time for everyone to get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And uh, we need food. Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its slice. Now be sensible out there. 
Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over here. I'm sure everything will be fine, Miss Grimshaw. It should be. Most of your stuff from Blackwater got saved. Everything apart from my money. Oh, don't remind me. Well, we can always make more money. We're gonna have to. Miss Jackson, I've seen shit before for common sense if you do it properly. Ain't she a lovely woman? East into some pretty enough country called the Heartlands. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier, in spite of black water and that whole mess. Right there. Jose. Quite a day. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Thank you. And you? I'm going to read a book. <laughs> No, nope, that's not what I wanted. Morning, Arthur. Starting to look like home. It's taking shape. Good work, Miss Grimshaw. Well, I should get back to it. Sure. How are you, Jack? Here you were sick? A little bit, but Uncle Jose gave me some medicine. Okay, good. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Okay. Hey, Abigail. Good morning, Arthur. You know, you should get out of here for a bit. Yeah, that'd be nice. Well, we all need a break. Sure. All right, come on. Let's go do some hunting.
Oi, porra. Shooting, señor. Thank God for you, mister. Le debo la vida. Kid, we need to get out to West Elizabeth. Heard they're out for the plucking. For sure. Hey there, mister. Hey, you know if any Pinkertons have been seen around here? I can't say. Hello, boy.
Hey there. With me, boy. There we go. Yep.
Boy. Yeah. hard there? Well, it won't disturb you. You look like a backstreet butcher, Mr. Morgan. We're gonna run out of meat here soon if we're not careful. Very good, we were getting low. Thank you. Not the best quality, I'm afraid. No, so. Excuse me. I'm always around if you need someone. If there's anything else we can do, just let us know. There ain't nothing you can do. All right. Well, you just holler. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. Okay, Hunter. You okay there, Tilly? I'm okay. Warm, at least. Could do with getting out of here for a bit. I'm sure. All right, well, I should be getting on. Sure, Arthur. Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Yeah, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Hey, you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out? Sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses already. <sighs> You gonna take the old man into town? You can take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take mm -hmm. them a robin. and you're worried about house chores. Let's go. She ain't wrong. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> the ladies are going to love it. 
Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Out through the trees here, then take a left. Yeah. Trying to be a good boy in this playthrough, so. Ladies, sing us a song. <laughs> I got a girl in Fairyville. Can't be screwed because she's too damn ill. So I don't go down there no more with this blue horse laying outside her door. I had a girl in Fairyville. going on lumbago really you all right there friend oh, hey you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there could you sure no problem thanks hey, it's the white one over there. Go on, easy there easy whoa This way. Come on. go you're a gentleman sir a gentleman no not really i was just trying to impress the women <laughs> well anyway thank you come on let's go to valentine <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you have it, your pulse of old lizards. Lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you lot hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> Or is that uncle? <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people. 
finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Okay. Take a good look around, ladies. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> So, uh, things, eh? I'm gonna left here, down the main street. There's always on the right. Forbid you put your head on the line. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stable. Yeah, yeah. Wouldn't believe it unless I'd seen it. Why don't you just back off? All right. Here we are, just like I said. Cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at its finest. Oh, cool. What are we doing? Well, we're going to do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the... One shot, kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm. Then rats with the plague. Then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Afternoon. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. I was something to pass the time while we're waiting on the wind. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Plenty out on the shelves, but I got more out back. Whiskey's on the top shelf the door. You're not getting anything, Arthur? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. So... You're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? Lamb or a sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. Now I know what the smell is. <laughs> well, that's a ripe cheese, all right. Well, look at this. A jaw harp. What is this list of yours? I got a lot to replenish after that god-awful time in the mountains. All done. Thank you kindly. Ah, <laughs> this should do the trick. Yep, that's fine whiskey. That should do it. Let's go wait for them outside. Your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? 
I snuck into this fancy house. Act a little servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train really? Full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out in their new Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Yeah. Where's Tilly and Karen? I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was going to rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. You thought I wouldn't find you, Tilly. You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get, Get your hands off mm -hmm. her, friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. <laughs> Or what exactly? You want to find out? You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you. Go right away with now. Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Uncle! Look after her. I'll go see about Karen in the hotel. Place I live is getting on, knocked down. Can I help you, sir? I, I do all yep. I can manage. Are I'm you looking know? for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather, mid 20s, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. No trouble now, please. Hey! How are you? A friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. They paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here! Waste of my time. What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him. Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just me and... But stupid bastard, stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. After you. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get me. I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Just following it. Hey, stay away from me. Get back here right now. That's far enough! Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in Blackwater. Then why are you chasing me? 
I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. Now please pull me up. Please. Please. All right. Come on. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. Jimmy Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh, here. You want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh. That's very kind of you. <laughs> but not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding. Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. Not, not one lick. Not one sense. In this year old mind. Come on. Come on. You have a nice day now, sir. Yep. your horse back, friend. Oh, you really were just borrowing it. Appreciate it. Come on, sir. Try to remember what really happened at Sylvia's Saloon back in 76. Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. Who's your friend there? Put that in your fucking book, Plato. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Lucy Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. Well, how's that going? I think I prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? 
the joys of gunsling. It's win-win, freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm going to write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame. I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay. And forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it. And, well, there's a whole list of gunfighters. Legends, every last one. Emmett Granger. Flacco Hernandez. Billy Midnight. Black Bell. Never heard of him. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Callaway. Any of them get uppity, shoot them. I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some sad, deluded fools like him, ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot them? It does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to them. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here are some other flop house. boy. I want you to meet our friends. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Well, ain't you just a toughest teak mountain man? Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly. Yes, he's a pussy cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. <sighs> Well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, regular dandy and a charm. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man, I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey. hey there he is. Watch where you're going. Take it Are easy, Are you about pal. to kiss that guy Take or punch you? Huh? Oh, oh, and we have our <laughs> answer. <laughs> Ooh, bar fight. <laughs>
stop dancing around and fight. What the hell's going on down here? Come here, you little griefer. You're going down. Yeah, I hit my Sir, you won the fight already. Surely that's enough. What business is it of yours? <laughs> no business. <clears throat> no business, sir, but please, I beg you. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Who we found sniffing about? Josiah Trelawney. The very same. <laughs> I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah, Javier and Charles. I've missed you. And Bill looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, always... A pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him? Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we stay foot in Blackwater... Uh, ah! <laughs> Well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill. Come on. Lord above! Not again. Welcome back.
since everyone with a rifle has been hunting these of late. Good night. I'll, I'll be here bright and early. Hello there. Welcome, welcome. Come on in. I need a bath. That's okay. Can you organize? I got someone warming it up for you already. Just head down the corridor there. Oh, it's uh you. Yes, it is. Last time I checked. I, I really don't need any more trouble. I didn't come to make any. Would you like any assistance? I'm all right, thanks. All right, I'll leave you to it then. You ugly bastard. You're getting old. Old and kind of sad. No wonder they all leave you, you sour faced idiot. You ain't fooling no one. I am interested in your conversation. Hope I didn't offend you earlier. Okay, but you made me sad, honey. Get them drunk and take their money. Won that game fair and square. 
Gentlemen. Want some, huh? Sure, I'll shoot you. Wouldn't mind some practice. Well, let's get to it then. God damn it. I was used to Red Dead 1. I am not that terrible. Morning, sir. Hey, mister. Hey. Welcome, welcome. journey is a good one. Good morning to you. Y'all doing all right? Oh. This 
Skip. Okay, boy. Let's go. Belle journée, n'est-ce pas? Too many turtles from the group. Out of the damn way. Greek is friend. You look like angels. Oh, <laughs> Go get yourself something to eat. Sir, I want you to have this. Thanks, friend. It's nice to give something instead of just begging. I hate asking for money like a goddamn worm. Probably here in the dirt. Fine morning, partner. Hey, mister. Hey, partner. Good morning, Ian. Easy, whoa. Oh, hello? You a bounty hunter? Not right now, I ain't. You Black Bell? I'd like to talk to you about your Wild West days. I don't care much for reminiscing. You got any friends as bounty hunters? None that spring to mind. Well, then you done led them boys here, and you none the wiser. Ah, those bounty hunters. Knew my luck had run out sooner or sooner. Well, get inside. I'll tell him you're gone. Oh, no, oh, no. I ain't hiding from them scalp hunters. I ain't running from them neither. And fighting? Yeah, if it's just me against Sam, <laughs> that'd be a waste of time and nitroglycerin. Well, let me know what I can do. You want that Wild West story, don't you? Yes, I do. All right. Get up here quick. 
Now, when I give you the word, hit that. Whole place is wired. Black Bell, I got a contract here for your life or your liberty. We'd sooner it be liberty. That's mighty reasonable, mister. Come here, let me take a look at it. Come on. Oh, come on. <coughs> Stop just there. Now, send it out. Them scalp hunters off your back. Uh, for now. For now. So, you gonna tell me about your Wild West days running with Jim Boy Calloway? Little Boy Calloway? <laughs> the only running he did was away from a fight. And that's about the end of it. Well, a man's apparently a famous gunslinger. Yeah, so they say. But uh, don't get what's famous confused with what's true. The ones of us that lived that life, we was too busy being scared for our scalp to talk to no newspaper writers or dime novel men. Well, what were they like then? Those days they all talk about. Same as now, I guess. Only longer ago. <laughs> all right. I'm going to need your picture, too, if it ain't a trouble. No, sir. No trouble at all. Can't be worse than those awful drawings on the wanted posters. <laughs> oh, great. Look, you stand over there and oh, let me get this thing ready. Uh, ready? How do you want me? Like this? Okay, got it. And I guess I'll be on my way. There. <laughs> well, thank you, Mrs. Bell. You gonna be all right? Oh, been running for 20 years. Suppose I'll be running till I drop. Just the way it is. Yep. Good luck.
Okay, you're going to help me?
please do something. I'll get you help. Uh, Just stay alive. Okay. Okay. This is it. You're trying to stir up. Bring him in here. Right here. And sit him down in this chair. What happened? Just saw you fall out of the saddle. Don't worry. You're at the doctor. Thanks, friend. I appreciate it. Sure. There's also the matter of my payment. But we'll deal with that later. All right. A lot of blood loss. This wound's badly infected. Ah! I'll save as much as I can, but I'll have to amputate. What? What did you say? Just try to breathe. Uh, I'll give you something for the pain. No. Uh, there you are. Ah! And I'll knock him out for a while. You did a good thing bringing him here. But now I'd recommend moving along. <clears throat> you do not want to see this. Sorry it's come to this. Hello. Mister? Just wish today was over already. Hey, Hello. Hey there. 
How are you doing? How are you doing? Good, good. That's the spirit. All the best. Be good. Partner. Hello. Hey there. Hello. Hello. Ma'am. Funny thing, huh? Miss? How are you? Big pardon, ma'am. Please really watch where you're bad. going. Apologies. Hello. Good day for some hey shopping, there. eh? Hello. Hey, mister. Hey, Thanks, mister. Hey, mister. Hello, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Hi there. No, sir. My son, they were lied to, but he did nothing wrong. Hello. Hey, y'all. Hello, Mr. Fresh picked vegetables. Come and get me. Uh-oh, mister. You look pretty drunk, partner. Take care of yourself. Sorry. Oops. No. Oh, dear. You new to these parts, sir? I'm a blow -in. Hello. How are you? You better watch all these people. You won't see any more of my money. It's only temporary. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Yeah, this place is terrible. That was quick. Hello, sir. Right, let's see. All made to measure. Hello. Madam. Thank you. Oh, hello there. Excuse me, madam, behind you. Sinsak, they hold. Excuse me. Welcome. 
Have yourself a nice trip. How do you do? Howdy, partner. Howdy, partner. Hello. Hey, you there. A quick word. What can I do for you, sir? There's an old gunslinger I'm looking for. I heard he comes through here. Name of Midnight Billy. Oh, that old soak? Yeah, he spends days on board these trains, but he's going nowhere but the gutter. I imagine you'll find him right in the next one through here. Either that or the next one. Try them both. Look in the bar car. Howdy, fellers. Nice to see some friendly faces around here. I caught some reprobate shambling around my backyard yesterday. Went straight to the wall, of course. I swear, this place is going straight. If only they knew the shit that goes down these days. Mr. Midnight? Excuse me, I'm trying to drink. Mr. Midnight, listen, this won't take a moment. I just want to talk with you about your old days as a shootist. Get away from me! Hey! I didn't shoot him in his sleep! No one's I saying that! I didn't shoot him in his sleep, and if I did, it was the only way! Not a problem. I'm here about Jim Boy Calloway, and no one shot him yet. I knew you'd come for me! Get away from me! Mr. Midnight! Uh. You don't know nothing, Mr. Mid. 
that. I want to talk. Don't do something foolish. You come for me. Come on. What the hell? I never was good at these. No, I want to shoot him now. Easy. Let's get us a closer look at this one here. Uh, 
Let's go, boy. Yep. Look at the floor for a bit. What are you attacking my cord for? Sorry. Kitty's wanting to play, apparently.
with the holler. Oh. Oh. I got bit. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, I need medicine. Here. Or a siphon. Drink this. Oh. 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 Medicine? Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh. Oh. You saved my life. I owe you. Got that right. I do. Oh. Oh. Uh, now I, I gotta get out of here. No! Oh. 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 Don't much like it around here no more. Glad I could help. Keep your eyes on the ground, huh? Let's get. Okay, boy. Let's go. Yeah. Hey, Addy. What the hell? Easy now. Did the university send you? Excuse me? Because if they did, they can get lost. I have never been so insulted in all my life. Really, laugh that, boulder dash. What are you doing? Are you quite certain you're not a spy? A spy? Those wretches will do anything to destroy me. My theories are correct, and I can prove it. What theories? I am the leading amateur paleontologist in the nation, and not one university will hire me because, unlike them, I actually have ideas. <laughs> you're a what? I study dinosaurs. You know, big lizards. Are they real? Of course they're real, you nincompoop. And everywhere. Everywhere? This state was once a vast, shallow sea that had the most incredible animal that could walk, swim, and fly. Quite unique. I call it Totalisaurus. Just for now. <laughs> Um, I'm trying to gather all the evidence. Miss Deborah McGinnis. Arthur. Good to meet you. Uh, could you give me a hand here, please? Of course. Yeah. <clears throat> Listen, if you find any of these bones around the country, send them to my homestead at Burwood Rise in Cumberland Forest. Or mail me the locations. I'll reward you handsomely for your efforts. Sure. Why not? And we'll be proving a lot of stuck-up buffoons very, very wrong. Which, trust me, is the very best thing about science. Good day to you, sir. Yeah. 
Mr. Morgan, I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. Then your God has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. Look at him, he's finished. None of us forced liquor down his throat, friend. I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make no mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither. But see, and I do just fine. You want to step outside or do a business here? I just want him to finish the game. Why can't we all just get along? These are good men, Arthur. They're children of God. They're children of God. How's about you playing this place, huh? That seems fair. Fair? Sure. You want a game? Sure. I'll play a few hands. Well, sit yourself down then. I'm Luther. This is Marvin. Fortunate for you both for being gentlemen about this. Same goes for you. So, how you two know each other anyway? Don't seem like the likeliest of friends, if you don't mind me saying. We go a long way back. And now you're his chaperone? I guess it's something like that. Can we play? He can't be no real clergyman. What are you doing? Five cardinal sins just in that chair you're sitting in. I think he used to be. He's drifted a little in recent years. And life is a challenge to all of us. Can you imagine him at the pulpit? If he could stand up. On the fourth day, he turned water into whiskey, and I don't remember much after that. <laughs> <laughs> He's a decent fella going through a bad time. Disrespect him again, and you'll find yourself in a bad time, too. All right, all right. Just trying to have a little fun here. It is a game, after all, mister. There. Pile of crap. Big pile of nothing. Yeah! Woo! Damn it. Yeah. Yes, come on. Shit. Well, next time, I guess. Will you button it? <laughs> Gentlemen, this is getting too rich for me. Sit down. Oh, I'm done, friend. It's been a real education. Come on, Rip. Where is he? Where'd he go? <laughs> yes, he can relax right, right there. <sighs> Excuse me, gentlemen. Reverend! Reverend Swanson, where'd you go? Excuse me, I'm sorry. You, you see a drunken idiot, a priest, wandering about? Sure, we saw him, smelt him, and avoided him. <laughs> he went that way, I think. Thanks. Guy looked kind of crazy, mister. 
Off him. I didn't say a word. You'll keep. You stay out of it. Get your hands off him now, you son of a bitch. What the hell is your problem? He's with me. Now you just pissed me. Yeah, no, so that'd be good. I failed at that. This place and what's to stay. Get your foot out of here. Twist your leg, you drunken bastard. Get it. Come on. <laughs> 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 You. What the hell is wrong with you? Throwing me off a bridge like there that? There was a goddamn train, you crazy bastard. <laughs> Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? I'm sorry. Uh, I wish I was different. <laughs> Let's get you home. Home? Yeah, that's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret, who's Margaret? What? Woo! <gasps> 
you shut up. Easy there. Yeah, if I had the same console. Hey. You'll work it out, Dutch. You always. Well, I was wondering when he'd show up. Get that fool back to his tent to sleep it off. All right. You're too easy on him, Arthur. Better sleep your way to salvation, my friend. Uh, uh, oh, what happened? Just usual. Poor oh. bastard. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. Mm -hmm. I'll keep an eye on you him. Can lay it back down. He was lucky this time. Real lucky. I have a cat who likes watching Red Dead. Little weirdo. Always good to see. That is what I like to see. Okay, I'll catch you later then. All right, Arthur. Walk. 
boxing through here like you own the place. But the O'Driscoll's got designs on it. Just minding my own business. You looking to prove something here? Run along. Your mama's expecting you home. Make yourself scarce. How about I scatter them teeth for you? Come on! Let's go! You're done here! You ain't tough, do you? <laughs> <laughs> You will be answering to the law if this carries on. Yep. Always something going on right here. Have a nice well, day. it is in giving that we receive the true gifts of life that are eternal. <laughs> So give generously, for that is what this country needs, to help each other. Oh, it's you. <clears throat> Hello, Warner. sir. Well, you're just full of chat, ain't you? Well, I'm just trying to help where I can, sir. Or interfere. <clears throat> you would have killed that man. What I do is none of your damn business, okay? Okay, okay. <coughs> Okay, sir. <coughs> Let's try and help each other. It's not about survival of the fittest. Please be generous. Be generous. Help people. Try to do what you can. Boy. Please give money to the orphans. Remember, remember, it's better to give than to receive. Yeah. There we go.
matter you okay what you trying to do here miss Annie
I don't mean no harm, okay? Just want to speak to Hernandez. We don't take two visitors up here. Kill this fool! I'm just here to speak with you about Boy Calloway. I'm unarmed. <laughs> well, Calloway. I just want to talk about Boy Calloway. Sure. Here's your message. Yeah, I
Yes. You're okay, Annie. You're okay. Oh! 
Idiot. hands with that dump. Hold on, kid. You care about this girl? Stand up for yourself. She'll come around. Yeah? I've been waiting. Trust me, kid. There ain't so many good men out there. Make yourself one of the good ones. Thanks, mister. I hope you're right. You wait, Lily Mae. Well, someday, I'll show you. I'll hey there, partner. Rich. Shut up. Sleep well tonight. That's a strong looking horse. Thank you, Kurt. Yeah. It's a stage company lockbox. We don't got the key. <coughs> Christ! Yep. <laughs> Mister, I don't hardly know what to say. Thanks, I guess. You've done me a service. Hey, look, the stage company's gonna write this off as a robbery anyway. If you can get in that lockbox, you can take what you want from it. It ain't stealing if it's already stolen. Got that right. Yeah. 
Understand this at all? Good work, pal. Hey, over here. Senor, can I show you something? What's the problem? Problem? No, there's no problem. Quite the contrary. Well, there is a problem for me, but not for you. All right. I ain't got time for no, this. No, well, no, wait. Give me a minute of your life. I might just change it forever. I'm sure you will have heard of me. Maximo Cristobal Valdespino, the renowned explorer. Can't say I have. There has been much written about me. I once had high tea with the Viceroy of India. I helped liberate South America. I've climbed mountains and swum across seas. I have had many women. I have spent the last three months hunting treasure on the American frontier. Beautiful country reminds me a lot of Almeria. But tomorrow I set sail for the island of Shikoku in the Japanese archipelago in search of the legendary Tokushima Sapphire. Hmm. Well, good for you. No, no, hold on. You see this map here? It was made by the Jekyll gang. They robbed banks all the way from here to California. Yeah, I know who the Jack Hall gang are. Oh, them you have heard of, but me? Ha! Huh. Well, uh, rumor has it they buried gold somewhere in this area, but were killed before they could retrieve it. They created two maps to ensure it was well hidden. This is the first and should lead you to the second. You just need to follow the landmarks drawn here. Me? Yes! Unfortunately, I am out of time now, but I am prepared to sell it to you for the low price of... <gasps> Ten dollars. A trifling investment for a man such as you, given the potential returns. Ah, uh, what the hell? Why not? A very wise investment. I wish you the best of luck. Do you smoke, sir? Sure, but perhaps not as much as you. Oh, no, no, don't worry about these. Actually, well, take some. Take a couple of packs. Take a few. Oh, thank you. What are all the cigarettes for? Are you heading on a long journey or something? <coughs> no, 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 nothing like that at all. I'm just interested in the cards. Okay. Cigarette cards. Oh, you got any? Yeah. Well, get them out. Let me take a look. Come on, come on. 
Do a little picture card? Yeah, I'll pay a good price. Okay. Here. Ah, not that I haven't got. The value is in completing the set. Sometimes I'll smoke up to 200 cigarettes in one day just so I can keep opening the packs. I wish I could explain to you the pleasure and the pain I get out of collecting these babies. Sure. Well, it sounds... Uh... Thrilling? Yeah, it is. Not to mention the vast amount of sure okay. from the cigarettes I get to smoke. Oh, and the amount of money. <laughs> A veritable fortune, sir. Fortune? Oh, sure, sure. A complete set of any series is worth a fortune. Yeah, look at this. Gunslingers. Over here, circus freaks. Yes, yes, yes. Meow meows of the desert. So rare. I never knew. Sure. How much? Well, it depends on the rarity, sir. Oh, of course. Yeah. But, you know, if you ever get a complete set, I can uh, take it off your hands. You'd pay me. A fair price. Now, you send them to me right here. Phineas T. Randall, at your service. I gotta run. This is my train. Look me up, okay? Think about this deal. Only a complete set. That's where the value lies. Hey, you. What do you want? Howdy. You Granger? That's my name. And my occupation, too, if you hadn't noticed. Weren't always like that, though, were you? Used to be a quick draw guy. You knew Jim Boy Calloway? Used to be's correct. Then there's a long over. And who might you be? Don't matter. I need you to tell me about Jim Boy. Just a quote for a book. A book about Jim Boy? <laughs> well, shit. I can't talk to you now. Look at me. I knee deep in hog crap. Well, don't mind me. You can talk while you work. <laughs> I ain't talking and shoveling. Besides, a young man like you would get it done in half the time. I don't know about that. What's to know? You interested in the old days? If you shovel this shit, I tell you some stories. You keep your hands clean, I don't give you squat. God damn it. These better be some stories. Oh, they are. Pick up the fork and get to work. Or get out of here and stop wasting my time. All right. Shovel your damn shit. Jim Boy weren't nothing, you know. Me? I killed men, women, and children, too. Animals. I even killed rocks. And I killed them good. I shot folks, stabbed folks, skinned folks. I scalped some. Boy, they scream when you scalp them. Hey, let me work. Don't know what's got into these arms, but I know what's coming out of them. <laughs> I bash folks, butcher folks. I burn folks alive. Bury folks alive. 
one time. I, I get it, all right? You're me. What about Callaway? You have no idea, girl. But a feminine type like you, I'd probably have chopped your head off, stuffed you, and eaten you like a sausage. No doubt. Now it's clean enough to eat off. Uh, I guess <coughs> I'm done. Get that barrel to the shit pile, and I suppose you is. All right. No shortage of shit round here. Comes from hungry hogs and no hands. Uh, hell, uh, that stinks. <laughs> okay, I cleaned up your mess. Go on, tell me about Callaway. I said I'd tell you stories. I didn't say they'd be about him. Don't trifle with me, old man. You knew him. Just give me something, anything. You're making a book. You should make it about me. They're just words, is all. Give me something to say, and I'll leave you alone. You owe me that. Hey, you be careful. <sighs> Killer like me, it don't take much to end up on the end of my knife. One hey, time. You know I... what? I don't think you were anything at all. Just a crazy old man. I ain't a killer. Well, you'd already be hog feed. I hadn't made a deal with the Federals got this far. This is your last chance, Mr. Granger. Give me a quote for the book. Hey, hey, hey you don't you don't hit no man a piece, no government witness. <laughs> Galloway said you was full of piss, but he didn't tell me the half of it. I'm itching to drop you, girlie. Only you ain't worth my time. I I got too much to lose. Too much to lose? Well, seeing as I cleaned up this pig's die, I figure I'm in my rights to wreck. Let's see. You don't want to do that? You walk away right now. Well, well. All I wanted was a quote. You don't know who you're trifling with. That's my stick. You walk away. Don't do it. There you go. No. 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 You did not. Closed. <laughs> You just took yourself a regular shit shower, Mr. Granger. Boy, that's real nasty. You earned yourself a killer. And I'm going to enjoy it now. Draw. It's going to be the last thing you do. What's my girl doing? Come on. You want down? Right, come on. You're okay. okay. Come on. Come on. You want down? Come on, Annie. Quit being so stubborn. Typical woman. Come on. There you go. Fine. There you go. Just trying to help you. Come on. I figured you and I had each other figured out by now. All right. Let's get back to the horse. Hey, get your ass over here.
It's me. Wondered when you'd roll back in. We all right. Good. Let's keep it that way. In a minute, Hosea. Clean that blood off of you, you fool. Have some standards. Getting real low on meat here. It all counts, Pearson. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. How do you do? Uh, feels like we're back on track, more or less. Yep, money and food. Now All everyone right. needs to keep coming. For sure. Good for you. Having a war with the goddamn Philippines. Who cares about the Philippines? What even are the Philippines? Just the biggest load of nonsense yet.
All right. 